Good morning, it's Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today we have sun. I don't know how long it's gonna stay up, but or stay out, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna try to go through this quickly. The first thing I wanna do is I want to announce the winner of my giveaway. And it was from Purse In, and it was a, a, a handbag organizer. And Sharon Hardy won my pink bag, my pink organizational bag. So congratulations, Sharon, and just leave a comment below, and I'll let you know how to get in touch with me. I had so many questions about my eyelashes, and I'll sometime, I'll try to put, I'll just put a link to the video where I was, uh, I applied my eyelashes, and they wanted to know some tips. Well, the first thing, the only eyelashes I've tried, magnetic ones, could because I am horrible with false eyelashes. I don't, I've only put them on successfully once and I did not like dealing with the glue. So I ordered from One Two Cosmetics a pair, a set of accent lashes. And I know they were $59 and I paid $49 because Candy Johnson had a $10 link. And when I demonstrated, one thing that I think is important when you're putting on these lashes is to match them up. So when I put them on, I put them together and then I just go like this, leave the bottom on my thumb, put this on and then put that on. And that helps a lot. I'm going to try to find some that are a lot less expensive to see if they're as good. But you have to have mascara on and you have to keep your head up. Those are the two tricks. And that's just what I wanted to talk about that. Today, I am just hanging out in the house and I wanted to talk about something that I had ordered from Octoly. I've heard so many people speak of the First Light Priming Filter and here it is. And I'm gonna put in some film of me demonstrating putting it on. Before I ordered it, I did some research and I looked on Ulta and Sephora's website and Ulta had four and a half stars and Sephora four and a quarter stars. The reason I wanted to try this is I've been looking for a cruelty free foundation that I can wear in the evening to give me a more quote special look. I have found two that I like. On the first light priming filter, it's for all skin types and all skin tones. It combats dullness and minimizes imperfections. And I definitely agree with that. I think that you can see my skin just looks better with it on. And along with the priming filter, it was a set. And the other one was the Under Eye Brightening Concealer. And I just took a tiny bit, I mean, I just pressed my little finger in it, rubbed it together, and put it on under my, right on top of, and put it on right on top of the primer. I'm going to also insert a film that I tried a few days ago. I've tried the front light primer on my face five times. I've worn it five days in a row, and it did not cause any milia. So that's a good thing. In the video I'm showing you, I have on the Becca continuous coverage foundation in buff and I will tell you it lasted all day long only in one area did it have a kind of like get in my line and it is this line on my right side it's still worse than the one on my left so I was very pleased with the way it looked I think both of the products that I ordered from Octoly, both of the Becca products, Becca sent these products to me, but it was through the Octoly website. And I will always give you my 100% opinion. The first time when I reviewed the Becca Continuous Coverage, Ultimate Coverage Foundation, I was on the fence, but I found the very best way to apply that is with a damp, damp beauty sponge. And that's how I put it how I put it on on that video right there. And it really does give good coverage. The reason I'm trying a couple of new foundations, I have several reasons to tell you the truth. You know, as long as uh, it cosmetics remains cruelty free, I'm going to be using their products, but I also want to have backups because you never know in this day and age when that will change. I wanted something that I could wear at night 
something that it you know if it had sunscreen fine but if it didn't it was fine but sometimes you just want a more perfected look and I can build up the it cosmetics but you know how girls sometimes just wants to have something different I had purchased the Tarte stick foundation and I have this on today and it and I have the backlight primer and it just did really really well I like it a lot I don't have on any blush but I am going to put on some blush and I am going to put on my Opa, Opal Becca, which I seldom use highlighters, but you know, I just thought, what the heck I need. What I'm going to use, I got in a set from QVC. It's the Wonder Brush and the Confidence in Your Glow. Together, I think it's cheaper than this brush is at Sephora or Ulta, but I love this brush. I love this brush for putting on blush and especially for putting on highlighter. So I'm just going to go into the color right here. I'm not going to get any, any of the brand. And I'm going to apply it to my cheeks. I'm using my iPad as my light. As my mirror, not my light. So I put that on. I bought this a couple of years ago. And it's the Opal. It's the Becca highlighter in Opal. And on one side of my cheek, I'm going to put it. And then on the other, I'm going to put the... So I'm just going to dab this in here. I'm going to put the other. And I just put it right here. If I ever use... Now the sun's gone. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. I had misplaced that for a little while. And I ordered these from Sephora. I don't know if they're... I would have ordered this in the first place. It's just a smaller version. And it also has the liquid highlighter. And I'm going to put that on this cheek. And we're going to see if we can see any difference. And what I usually do is I just take it on my finger, my clean finger, and I just apply it on my cheekbone. I kind of go a little higher. And we'll see. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're both pretty. I really do. One of these days we're going to be having warmer weather and I'll like it for a little while and then I'll be ready to have winter again because I will miss my pajamas. And one of these days I'll go in there and I'll take a picture of my pajamas, my winter pajamas, because I walk by them and I miss them. Every time I walk by my pajamas, I think, oh, I'll see you soon. I do try to list everything in the show more section of the video, especially like colors and shades, what I have on my face. But I want to tell you, somebody, and I can't remember who said it, they were talking about the Dolce & Gabbana light blue cologne. And I got it some time ago in from Ulta as, you know, a perk or something like that. And I tell you what, I absolutely love it. And it's not one that I would think I would like. I wouldn't be drawn to. I, it just smells really good and and I do like it. I'm the sun just went in under the clouds. But I am interested now in knowing what the Dolce and Gabbana blue smells like. I think it's so interesting what draws us to certain scents. It's almost like music. I cannot smell sandalwood without thinking of my father. And I do have his cologne, and every once in a while I'll go in and I'll just take a whiff of it, and it's just kind of like he's still here. And something that reminds me so much of my mother is Jean Nate. That's what she wore when I was a little girl. She wore the body splash, and she wore the powder. And yeah, those are really good memories. So I wonder what when my children think of me when I'm long gone, what? I know what scent they'll, they'll put with me. Opium. Opium oil. That was my signature for years. So I, I can't remember how many years. It had to be in the oil form or in the lotion to get its full effect. Yes, I do think that scents remind me of songs. And yes, I'm wearing the, the hoodie that Jim got me for Christmas. He has been very quiet and has been here throughout this filming. And I'm kind of proud of myself. Are you proud of me, Jim? Yes. Yes, he's proud of me. Anyway, it is all good. You guys have a great day. And thank you for subscribing, for giving me the thumbs up, for sharing, and just because I appreciate you. 
Take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Link every video below, and Jim is here.